Yeah, I'm Shane from Lonely Viking, and I was in um, one of the Elemental Facebook groups, and somebody was asking how, with Elemental, how to create uh, this. So what it is is just a, a background image, um, a full width section with a background image, and then it's got a transparent header, and the section displays behind the header. So I decided I'm going to just fire up Elementor quickly, WordPress, and show how to do that. And so here it goes. Um, okay, maybe I should close my WhatsApp. Um, and I will turn off notifications. Okay, let's get into it. So what I've got here is just uh, I installed the free Astra theme. And I use their site importer to import a free site. And so that's where we're getting this header. It's got their Heather Scott motivational speaker uh, site. And so I've installed that. I've got a blank page. And so let's start by creating the header in Elemental. And so I'm going to go over to the WordPress admin uh, dashboard and then go over here to Elemental, uh, select my templates, go to header. So add new header, um, and then let's just give it a name. I've already done that. Full site header, and because we're going to use it on the whole site, and then well, actually maybe we'll use it just on that page. So let's let's just do that. Let's actually call it uh, home header. Create template. Okay, it's going to load up Elementor, and then it's got us in the blocks section. He has a nice uh, standard one, which I think is similar to what we're doing. Uh, so we've got the, let's insert that. And you'll see it's created the header over there. So we've got the logo and the menu. And so I'm just going to left align that. Um, and I'm going to take that background shadow away. Let's see, style, border, let's reset the shadow. Okay, we've got the shadow away. Um, and so let's just check that the background, there's no background color on there. Uh, yep, that's clear. And so I'm just going to publish that header. And then it's going to ask uh, to add conditions where we want to display the header. So let's say here. Um, archives, all archives, uh, let's see, oh wait actually, sorry, let's say singular and then front page, sorry, lost my train of thought there, but so we're going to use that just on the home page, click publish, and that is created our header. So now if I go over here onto the home page, uh, you can just hit edit with Elementor. I'm just going to open up the Elementor editor and here we've got our header which is now part of that page and let's start by just dragging in some columns here. So I've got two columns. I'm going to add in a heading. Um, Nice long one. So this is the best. Okay, so there's our heading. So make it a bit bigger, make it an H1. Um, since it's our main title. Okay, so now we need to start filling out the section. So I'm going to go here, uh, grab a background image. I just got something off of deposit photos. Insert that. Okay, now I'm going to change the, uh, let's go back to layout. I'm going to change the height here to fit to screen just so that we can see what's going on. And so this image is quite big and it's being stretched across. Um, kind of fits in, but I think we can do better. So let's go to content position. No, no, no. Um, okay, we're going to have to go to style. 
and position, I'm going to say center left, because we want to get our little detail image, um, whatever you call it there, and then size, we're going to say cover, and that's going to fit it in. So now if we check the page, it's going to fit in nicely. So it kind of fits into what we're trying to do similar to that. Okay, but now you can see we've got this problem that the header um, doesn't have the image behind it. And that's quite a simple, Elementor doesn't have that natively yet to, to um, have the section take up the whole space. So we're just going to go to the advanced settings here and set the margin. Um, let me check. Uh, so that is 90 pixels. Um, so we can just set the top margin to negative 90 and there we go. If I scroll, I'm just going to update that. And it looks like we lost our logo. So let's go back to the header. I'm going to change the few settings on here. Let's change the Z or Z index to like five, maybe, so that it's at the top. And then uh, let's check. Let's reload that. There we go. So now we've got our, our uh, logo back. And then let's say we want that header to be sticky. This is how you would do that in Elementor. You'd select that section, the whole section that houses the, the menu, so the, the header. And then you here in advanced, I'm going to show you quickly. If you, if you say stretch layout, you'll see that the, the, um, that little menu item disappeared. So if we go here, just make sure this is off. And then go to advanced, and you'll see it says scrolling effect. And now we can make that sticky and then update and that's that uh, if we go back here obviously I need to reload the page so let me do that quickly and now we've got that header it's sticky um, obviously we're going to want it to be visible and so uh, that's not really what uh, was being asked in this video and I don't want to make it too long so I'm going to end it here but if you want to see how to make the header background color change when it scrolls or for the the um, logo to shrink or the header size to shrink or something like that then just uh, drop a note in the comments and I will do that as well but cool thank you for watching um, and yeah, let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you'd like to learn about WordPress or Elementor. I mean, there's thousands, millions of things out there, but if you want to learn it from me, that'll be cool. Thank you.